Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to find out where the image of this point would appear to be when it's reflected in the mirror. And how we do that is we draw a ray of light coming from that point to anywhere. It doesn't matter. Just pick an angle and draw a ray of light to that mirror. Okay. Now, we're going to demonstrate this um, as a practical. So what I will do in a little second is I will shine a ray of light using my ray box under the mirror and I'll draw where that ray goes. However, you can also do this with your protractors because we know the law of reflection. The law of reflection is the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So the next thing you would need to do is draw a normal. A dash line for the normal because it's an imaginary line that just helps us construct our diagram. Measure the angle I and repeat it the other side. Okay, so use your protractors. Try and be as accurate as possible. And then draw where your red is reflected. Then you do the same again, but at a different angle. So we need two rays coming from each of the points. Doesn't matter what angle again for my second ray, but try and make it different to the first one. So don't do like 31 and 32 degrees. Try and make it different. So there's my second ray going to the mirror. Once again, draw normal. And then reflect that using your protractor. Like so. Okay. And what we had said is the eye sees things as being where the light appears to be coming from. So in this case here, our eye would see a little red LED where those rays of light appear to be coming from. Okay. However, in this case, if we have an eye over here, that'd be a big eye. Okay. We have two rays of light that enter the eye like this. Okay. Now, we can track those rays that enter the eye, the reflected rays, we can track them backwards to see where they appear to be coming from. Note, it's not where they are coming from because they're being reflected by the mirror, okay? But we can track them backwards and see where they appear to be coming from through that eye. So, using your ruler, we track these rays of light backwards. Key thing to remember is they don't actually come from here. The ray of light doesn't go behind the mirror. We're just finding out where it appears to come from. We're drawing construction lines here. We're not drawing rays, so we don't make them solid. We make them dashed, and we don't draw arrows on them because the rays don't travel in that region. So we draw a dashed line um, going back the ways. And we do the same for our other ray. And wherever those lines cross, that's where the image of this point P1 will appear to be. So we can draw a little dot there and call this, say, P1 dash. Okay, we're saying that's the image over here of the point P1. What we then need to do is do the same thing for points P2 and for points P3. Now I'm going to do them in different colours just to make it slightly clearer in the diagram. You'll still see there's a lot of lines being drawn here. Um, we're not saying it's different colours of light coming from those points or anything. It's just to keep our diagrams clear. Okay. So we do that again. We get the three points and then we can join up those three points and work out where the image is and what properties that image will have. Okay. So try that yourselves and I will draw it on here as well. 